Week four, guys, class number two. Welcome, today we're gonna to be doing 360 roundhouse, or also what we call narban. So that looks like this. Hey! From the other side, looks like this. Hey! From the front, looks just like this. Ha! Okay, guys, now that we've seen it, let's break it down a little bit. So one more time, if I do it fast, it looks like this. Hey! Hey! Now, what's happening? We're in the sparring stance. We're turning towards our back. We're turning, we're turning, we're turning to not quite straight, but just a little bit offset of that. From there, we're going to pick up our knee this way. Old traditional uh, 360 roundhouse or not a bond, the knee would pick up at 9 degrees. We don't really do that anymore. We pick it up here, I would say about 45 from there. So here, this way, with the knee up, I like to point my toe down. I jump and I roundhouse. So to further illustrate this, we're going to talk a little bit about what's happening in the motion itself. So she's in sparring stance, she's going to turn towards her back, and actually before we do that, I want you to pay attention to her legs. So her feet are shoulder width apart, her weight is 50-50 as it should be. When she turns, she turns all the way, and the body is now going to be in this same position here. When she does the kick then, the body is coming this way. So if you look, what she's doing is she's taking essentially three steps, one, two, Three, that's the amount of distance that's covered. How we do it is what makes the Narabhan so unique. So she's here. She turns. That would roughly be the first part. The knee is coming up over here like we talked about. She jumps. The jumping as she's turning, the body is coming forward again. She's in range to kick. She lands. Again, at speed, it looks like this. Hiya, hiya. Alright guys, so our first drill works just like this. She's going to turn, she's going to pick up the knee, just like this. So remember, we want this 45, we don't want it at the 90, and we don't want it straight forward. We want about halfway in between. So she's picking it up just like this, going a couple times so they can see. Just like that. So we want to get concerned with the correct turn. So she's turning this way, she's looking over her shoulder. From here, she's picking up the leg in this direction. So just like that. So she's not picking up the leg back here and then swinging it around, just like she's not picking it up straight like this, right? But she's here, she's bringing it up straight towards the back, then up, just like that. So now that we've got this first motion, she starts here, our second drill. She's going to bring her knee here, she's gonna put it down, then she's just gonna step forward. So this motion is gonna help with this turning. When we're talking about proper kicking, in particular roundhouse, it's that body going from this side to the other side that people struggle with. So the knee is up, she puts it down, she moves forward, okay? So that's gonna turn into this. She picks her knee up, then she jumps into that position. And again, notice the change. She's going from here, she jumps, the body's turning. Okay, if she does it at speed, she switches the feet, she's here, she's gonna go pick up the knee and jump. One fluid motion minus the kick. Just like that. Now this is important because with the 360 roundhouse, which is what Narabhan is and what we've chosen to teach here, the thing to remember is that this will pave the way for all of your 360s. So there's, for those of you guys that don't know, there's 360 circulating kick, there's 360 cheating kick, there's 360 axe kick. They all are gonna start with this turn, they're all gonna start with this knee trajectory, and then they're all gonna jump and the knee's gonna come forward as the body turns. The only thing that makes that kick different is what we do at the end with this leg. In the case of the roundhouse, it'll come this way. In the case of the axe kick, it'll come up. In the case of the front kick, it'll come up, which is what we call the cheating kick. We're not gonna worry about that yet, but we just want this first motion. One more time, she turns, picks it up, and jumps, and lands. All right guys, so those are our drills. We're gonna do, again, as usual, three sets of 10 both sides. And then the other thing I'm always a big fan of with 360s in particular is doing them. Right? So not just the sub motions, let's also practice. So it looks like this. If you have a target, we do it like that. If not, you can use a hand or the pillow, which we've done in the past. Uh, one of my favorite ways to do this actually is on a tree. If you can find a leaf, I like to just target one leaf on the tree. We won't demonstrate that because there's no trees in here. But paddle, you can use your imagination. It looks like this. And, and that's not a bug.